Good morning, y'all. It's Tuesday. Just wanted to come on and say hi, and uh, I want to welcome all my new subscribers. I'm over 5,000 now. I know it's not a lot to some people, but hell, I remember when I only had maybe 20, and I was excited to have that because you know what? I don't think that people coming. I think for me, people coming to my life for a reason, and I'm not talking about monetary gain. We can learn stuff from each other. Um, we can inspire, we can motivate, we can uplift because there's a lot of people y'all hurting. Um, I was coming down the street the other day and I saw one of my classmates. And man, she looked old as my mom. My mom was nodding when she passed and she looked, I'm serious, drugs, you know, and, um, you know, and I just, my heart just goes out and, and you know, we all have to make choices. I remember the first time we were, I, I went to school at Grandland and a guy said, um, y'all want to buy some cocaine? I, I'd never even heard what cocaine was. I was like, what, 19, 18? Because when I first went off to school, I was actually there on campus for my 18th birthday. But yeah, it, you know, it's, those drugs, man, then you can't say, well, it don't affect me. Every, I think, I don't have no stats to prove this, but I think at least everybody got at least one person in their family that's a drug addict. I could be wrong, but if you don't have me in your family, you know somebody, you got a close friend, uh, a, a associate who has someone in their family. Those drugs, man, are bad. I, I'm telling you, it, it's sad. But, um, I just wanted to stop by and say hi, and uh, I've been posting those devotionals from Dr. Charles Stanley. Don't get a lot of views, that's fine. I realize that um, a lot of times people prefer entertainment over self-help or self-growth, so that's fine. But my purpose is to try to help somebody, honestly, because... What profits a man to gain the world and lose his soul? You know what I'm saying? So I always think about that. If I'm gaining while helping somebody, I'm satisfied with that because in my gain, I'm going to also give back. But if all I do on here benefits me, then to me, I'm no use to the people I'm trying, you know, that I'm, I'm speaking to. That makes sense. So yeah, I'm just here headed to work on this Tuesday. It's a beautiful day. It's still hot though. Oh. I did a video talking about Antonio Brown. It was just too raggedy to even the, the, the quality of the video was just horrible. But anyway, I wanted to talk about this situation. Not his situation, but I'm just saying. Think about this. You're a young, successful African-American man. You get an accusation against you. And your career is ruined. Are there any facts to support the accusation? Doesn't have to be. Because just because that accusation was made, you lose contracts, endorsements, and everything. So I, I did a video once before, the ads were limited because when you talk about controversial matters, matters that's what happens. But I didn't take it down and I'm gonna I'm a link it. Because like I say, I want to help somebody. Because sometimes, you know what, we do things because we just really don't know what the, what, what the consequences may be. You know, myself included, especially when I was younger. If I had to do things all over again, I wouldn't have had kids until I was married and able to give them the quality of life that, you know, each child, every child deserves. I am very proud of my children and wouldn't trade them for the world. But you want to give your children the best. So... But the best may not be what's considered the best standard, but your best. So, that's good. But, um, you think about that. I don't know the situation. I'm not even going to comment on that. I saw it was a beautiful young lady. The mistake he made is after the lawyer told him not to, he contacted her. They didn't go to the authorities or anything. They went to the league. So, that really hurt him. And I know that's why the Pats released him. They said that had they known that the accusation was out there, they wouldn't even sign them. But I'm just telling y'all, you think about that, your life could be ruined on an accusation. 
man, I'm telling you, that, that, ooh. I look at Bill Cosby, I don't know what happened, I wasn't there, I wasn't privy to that information, but he was accused, I don't think there was any kind of, I think he may have settled <clears throat> with one of those ladies, I'm not sure, but there was no, <clears throat> excuse me, and that I can remember, recall, I don't, like I said, I'm not privy to everything, the tangible evidence against him. Just an accusation and you can lose everything. You can be incarcerated. You can lose your family, your freedom. That's why I say young men, especially young. Let me tell you something. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I'm still fighting this science fiction. If you don't have anything to lose and you go to jail, say for instance, you're just an average man making an average salary, maybe unemployed, you go to jail, you actually, well, I mean, you know, you lost your freedom, but you have things that you may or may not have been privy to if you wasn't working three meals, a, a bed. You understand what I'm saying? But then for a person who have millions to lose, man, think about that. Think about what you lose. Your freedom and everything else, all the other um, amenities and, and luxuries that you had. So, you know, as a mother, as a person who, as, as a mother of an African-American man, young man and then as a person who's concerned about people and who love people and want to see people do better i'm one of those type of people i want us all to live good because i am my brother's keeper i really i truly believe when you live like that you got god's protection and it, 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 i'm telling you i'm telling you if everything you do helps your helps you then you ain't living for god because the Lord, the Bible tells to love you one another and in loving others you help them it may not always be monetary you can offer them a word of encouragement advice you know and I just I just want us all to do better but y'all young men especially and, I'm, and the young professional men may not even see this but you got to protect yourself protect yourself at all times you know when you're dealing in relationships now it's not like it used to be you could take a lady out and you could get all up close and personal and you know, those one night stands now could actually be a sexual assault charge later. So y'all better be careful out there. I'm telling you, especially those entertainers and things, you just, you got to protect yourself. Anyway, y'all, today is Tuesday. Y'all have a blessed day. Make someone smile. Bye.